What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com and today we're going to be talking all about how to create and the reason why, honestly, you should be focusing on creating a legacy. So I want to talk about that and uh, hopefully if there's anything that you gain from today's podcast episode, it's nothing more than just encouragement. It's nothing more than just inspiration and motivation for you to go after your goals and the main reason why, Okay. So I'm fresh. Today is day number one back from a missions trip over in West Virginia, um, Chestnut Mountain Ranch. And we're going to be actually talking about that and how this whole entire episode about leaving a legacy is going to connect with this most recent missions trip that I went on. And I want to first talk about why I decided to go on this missions trip. I'm a member of my church. And, you know, it's it's part of, you know, our membership to go out there and serve others, you know, and, and to be disciples and be leaders and, you know, kind of like these things where it's just like, hey, how can we make other people's lives better, you know? And with our church organization, there's so many different ways to serve, you know, there is uh, a missions trip called the Christmas Shoebox, and I believe that's over right in December in like Baltimore area where our church will go over there and, hey, we're filling up these shoe boxes to give to kids, right, with toys and uh, toiletries and, like, you know, reading materials and, like, different, you know, crafts for Christmas time, you know, for these third world countries where, you know, these kids, they don't get anything, you know, so that's one way that our church serves. Another way is going over to Belize, you know, and they're, they're helping out. They're doing so much over there with medical supplies and whatnot. And just once again, serving, helping others, loving others, right? Like that's the whole mission for our missions trip, for our, our church, right, that I belong to. And another way is going to West Virginia, which I recently just came back from, from Morgantown called uh, Chestnut Mountain Ranch. And I tell you what, guys, I mean, just going out there to West Virginia was beautiful. All right. I, I drove. It was about a four-hour commute. <clears throat> Loved it. Loved the drive there. It was a, such an easy drive also. Loved the scenery. But that's God's country <laughs> is what they say. I mean, it is just – it's different over there, you know. And I, I really liked it a lot. You know, not so much of like me being a wilderness or like, you know, an outdoor type of guy because I'm not by any means, but just the scenery – you know, I absolutely just fell in love with that. And it was just great, I like to say, alone time, right? Driving four hours by myself and then driving four hours back. And you really got to think, you know, and with me just being right now in this stage of life, you know, uh, being a business owner, being a father, being a husband, right? Being a member of my church and just like you have all these different ideas. You have all these different, you know, conversations that you're having with yourself and it, it, it really made a lot of clarity in terms of, you know, that road trip going out there, what I want for the company, what I want for Heartletics, what I want for myself, my own goals, and just like the impact that I want to have. And like, I was thinking about that driving there. Now, when I actually got there to the ranch itself, and we met up with all the members of our church, and, you know, we're there to help out, I was blown away. Because, you know, where you drive into, it's like this huge mansion. It is something that you literally see on TV. And I highly recommend, if you guys have never heard of uh, Chestnut Mountain Ranch, go to their website, read the story behind, you know, uh, Stephen and Don Finn and just how they got started. It's really inspiring, really, really inspiring. I'll talk about that here in a little bit. But you can obviously go to their website and it's uh, CMR. Uh, wv.org. You can donate, you want, you can check it out. And pretty much like they gave us the story, you know, it, like how it got started and how, you know, Stephen and Dawn, they had this grand vision, right? And that's where it all starts from, right? It's just an idea. They had this grand vision of, you know, starting just like, uh, kind of like this ministry, kind of like this organization where just for, you know, kids, whether they're in the foster kid system or just kids where, you know, they've been written off by society, you know, they filled out all these different schools and their parents don't really, you know, care for them too much or they don't have the best needs to take care of them so much. They sent them over here to this ranch and the ranch got started off with just nothing like and to see where it is today compared to where it first got started off, it is nothing short than a miracle, honestly, but just how much just like 
the vision that Steven, the vision that Dawn had, and a lot of faith that they had in this process. Because starting it, I mean, they, they literally had to raise all the funds themselves. You know, they had nothing but 25 bucks. That's it. And if you go to their website or go on YouTube and listen to their story and everything and check check out, you know, some of the pictures, you'll be blown away. Like, how does that even happen? You know, how does that even happen? But it all started here. You know, it all started here with this idea for them to serve others, with this idea for them to give back to the community. And it's just uh, so amazing. So we spent the whole three days there pretty much, uh, you know, putting in drywall, moving that around, you know, cleaning, just all, all these different things to just to serve, to help out. And it's it's just so inspiring. But, you know, leaving there, the ranch, in my head, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, like you're getting these ideas once again a four-hour commute all by yourself you know driving there but you're also getting these ideas as it's just like man these are just like regular people you know Stephen and dawn and to see the impact that they have to see the the place that they built right this this uh, chestnut mountain ranch it's incredible but then it also made me think like man anybody with the heart anybody with a servant's heart could do this also and it doesn't have to be to this big, grand, you know, organization like what they built, but we can all focus on leaving a legacy. But it starts up here with that vision first. It starts up here with ourselves as far as like, what is the legacy that we actually want to live, you know, and we want to leave behind also because in the midst of, you know, Stephen and Dawn, you know, creating this ranch, creating this, you know, experience for these boys and, you know, just talking to some of the members there and then, then given the whole entire background story about all these boys and just pretty much saving their lives. Once again, it's amazing, but they're leaving that legacy and they're living that legacy right now. And we can all do that as well right? We can do that as well by being that inspiration for others. We can do that by also just making sure that whatever it is that we are focusing on, right? This thing up here, the, the, the imagination, right? The most creative part of the human body, right? Is your mind and just taking, right? A vision where you don't have anything, right? On paper, right? Just like how Steven and, and Dawn only had 25 bucks, but seeing where it is now, it, it's amazing, and I want to talk about, you know, for the remainder of this podcast, just what it means to leave a legacy, how to actually fulfill that. But most importantly is like the biggest recipe or the missing piece, I like to say in all this. Okay, we're going to talk about that last. So first off, let's talk about the importance of, you know, leaving a legacy and why everybody should leave a legacy. Well, for starters, it has nothing to do with you at all. It has everything to do with others. It has everything to do with the impact, right, that you want to have on other people's lives. And somebody might think to themselves like, yeah, but if if I'm going after my goals, wouldn't that mean I'm like selfish? But by all means, it's the exact opposite. You're actually selfless when you go after your goals. This is what I tell our members all the time at Heartletics inside of our coaching program because, you know, we're here not just to help them achieve their health and fitness goals, but, you know, we want to, you know, help them have more discipline, have more confidence, better leadership skills. So if you're thinking about, you know, hey, discipline, confidence, better leadership skills, that all kind of goes hand in hand with, once again, leaving a legacy and being that inspiration for others. But sometimes, once again, like we have to learn how to put ourselves first. We have to learn how to fill up our cups. We need to learn how to become the best version of ourselves so that way we can become more of an asset rather than a liability that's holding people back. So once again, you might not have these big goals of starting your own ranch to, you know, help out these children in need, you know, and and help them with schooling and, you know, just, you know, having careers when they get done. Like you might not have that goal and that's okay, but you still might have a goal to be a better husband, to be a better parent, to be a better father, right? To be a better spouse, to be a better, you know, coworker, to maybe, you know, start a, a business, you know, anything like that. You might have, right, in your head, a vision for yourself. And maybe right now, as you're currently listening and watching this right now, you've been telling yourself, hey, I want this goal. I want this goal. I want to do this. I want to do that. But yet you're not taking the right action steps. And that's where today, hey, the line, right, it has to be drawn in the sand right now. 
you have to learn to make a sacrifice. And we're going to talk about how to make things easier for you when it comes to taking that action step, you know? In fact, right, stepping outside your comfort zone, this is where you really start to embrace, right, who you are. And you start to just, I like to say, you get more creative, right? You get more of this self-trust, right, within yourself, gaining more self-confidence. For example, me even going on this mission trip, right, was a complete step outside my comfort zone, you know? I'm, I'm somebody that had to delegate, right, with work, and that's hard for me. I'm somebody that had to leave my family behind, and hey, that's hard for me. Once again, like, I like my routine, and everything was just thrown off, where it's like, hey, we're not focusing on growing the business. We're not focusing on spending quality time with the family. We're not focusing on a lot of, our like, our, our health goals right now. We're taking all this and putting on pause to go on this missions trip right now, right? Step outside your comfort zone. But in doing that, right, it's like, man, I feel like I'm more in alignment with my goals, I feel like I'm more in alignment. I got all these different ideas and just the impact of seeing, once again, Stephen and Dawn's story, you know, with starting this ranch. It was able to help me, right, in my areas of where I want to focus on more growth at as well. So that step outside that comfort zone, that's what led to, hey, me now recording this podcast. So sometimes, once again, that step, it's scary. You know, and maybe it's like the goals that you have for yourself. Maybe you want to lose 50 pounds. Maybe you want to get off your medications. Maybe you want to have more energy. Maybe you want to, you know, run a 5K with your family or sign up for one or, you know, do a boxing match. Whatever, like, your crazy goals is that you want to do, you might also be stuck right now. That's the reality. Maybe you're in your 40s. Maybe you're in your 50s. Maybe in your 60s. Maybe you're in your 70s. And you're like, okay, hey, I want to make this impact. I want to make these change, but I don't want to continue to tell myself, hey, we're going to do this next week. We're going to do this next month, you know? And year after year, it's the same old song and dance. Day by day, it's Groundhog's Day, and you continue to not take action. That needs to change. You need to make a decision. You need to make a sacrifice and saying like, hey, how bad do I actually want this? You know, first and foremost, like, am I willing to take that step outside that comfort zone? Because most people aren't. And that's the sad truth. But it can all start if once again, we have more of a desire to leave a legacy, right? We have this big goal and we prioritize that goal and realize, hey, we're going to need to create some sacrifices. We need to also take some risk. But at the end of the day, is this risk, right? Is it worth the reward? If by me, right, creating some boundaries, setting some examples, and going after my goals, taking that step outside my comfort zone, if that's going to help more people down the road, you know, become better, whether that's mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually, regardless, then hey, it's definitely worth the risk. And this is something where you need to evaluate within yourself, hey, by me going after my goals, is it worth it? And just ask yourself this. By you staying exactly the same, is that helping or hurting others? Because I bet you anything, once again, if you're somebody that goes after your goals, you're being that inspiration. You're being that leader. And anytime you're leading, right, and helping other people become better, right, you're also leaving a legacy in that process. And the hardest thing to do is honestly take that first step. I'm sure with Stephen and Dawn, when they started the ranch with 25 bucks to their name and they, they didn't have, right, like all the specifics, like we're going to have this faith building, we're going to have this peace building, we're going to have, you know, this big, huge admin house that looks like a giant castle. I'm pretty sure they didn't have that vision for that, you know, and just seeing the expansion, all that stuff. But regardless, they needed to have something. Maybe it's the first step that they needed to take. Just say, hey, let's just go here and just like, let's scope out the land and see what it's even about first. You know, they had to take this big move. They had to stop their current career and, you know, transition over here. Once again, they had to take that risk. And for you right now, right, taking a risk, that might be just deciding, hey, every single day, I'm going to do 100 pushups. Or, hey, every single day, I'm going to go for a 30 minute walk. See, I feel like the reason why most people out there, they're scared to take these risks, they're scared to step outside their comfort zone, they're scared to go after their bigger picture goals is because we live in this Amazon Prime type world where we want everything tomorrow. We think like, oh man, we just randomly looked in the mirror one day and hey, here we are with the man boobs and the spare tire that's around our gut. Well, guess what? I'm going to hop on this diet and if it's not gone by the end of the week, I'm just going to throw in the towel. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to write it off as what's the point. 
And that's the problem. You know, it's just like, hey, we're very impatient. But we also understand that like sometimes right, we have to plant the seeds first before we can actually see it grow and blossom. And maybe just planting the seed, it doesn't have to be this big endeavor of, hey, let's work out two hours every single day and only eat chicken and rice and broccoli. It's like, no, like, let's just do it small, right? Let's just do it in steps that's progressively getting to where we're trying to get to where every single day we can decide to step outside our comfort zone. Every single day we can decide to take one small little step that's once again in alignment with our bigger picture goal because that's going to help us be more consistent, you know? Uh, Mike Hoffman, he's one of our members at Heartletics. He actually just posted inside of our Facebook community group this amazing photo, right? And it's three different images. One image was, you know, a little achievement that he got for completing his 800 workout. But then it's like you got to see from where he started to where he was. He posted his before and after photos. And it's all started with, hey, it's not like this happened overnight. No. And Mike Hoffman even put as a little description on that image, consistency is key. And it's the same thing for us, right? The legacy that we want to live, the goals that we want to go after, right? It's not going to happen overnight. We need to have a realistic expectations, but we need to understand this too. We need to prioritize our goals. We need to be disciplined enough to go after those goals each and every day. And we need to start off small. So maybe that is just deciding, hey, I'm going to go for a walk. Hey, I'm going to, you know, do some push-ups. Hey, I'm going to, you know, track my macros and hit my protein. Hey, I'm going to spend more quality time with my family. Whatever the case may be, right? We need to start taking that action steps. Now, here's the bigger picture in all of this. What can just help you out? Because remember, it's not just about, you know, being more disciplined and having more consistency. It's not just about, you know, going after your goals and trying your best to, you know, leave a legacy. It's also giving you guys encouragement to actually take that first step, which is the hardest step. But the minute you start building up momentum, it gets so much easier, so much easier. And remember, right, taking this story from Steven and from Dawn, you know, starting the ranch, right? They're leaving a legacy, but they're also living in that legacy right now as they're building it, as they're getting it bigger and better, right? And we can all take note of that and do it exactly the same in our lives. Whether we want to start a ranch and, you know, help out foster kids or not, Maybe it's just us deciding to become better, right, as, as husbands, as fathers, as parents, as coworkers, right, as bosses, as leaders. So that way, once again, we can inspire other people along the way. We can be a better asset rather than a liability. We can be that inspiration for them, you know, to maybe help them when it comes to having more confidence, help them when it comes to, you know, having more discipline, help them when it comes to just being a better leader. Because honestly, like that's how this world's going to change at the end of the day. In order to change the world and make it better, we first need to start by changing ourselves and making ourselves better. And just by us deciding each and every day to step outside of our comfort zone and be in alignment with the bigger picture goals of leaving a legacy and becoming the best version of ourselves, that's what we need to focus on. Now, here's what's actually going to help you to have that first initial step to help you create more momentum. It's this one word. It's called faith. That's it. Faith. You need to have, I like to say, unshakable confidence knowing, hey, it's all going to work out in the end. You need to be upfront and honest with yourself knowing that, hey, there's going to be some times where you win, some times where you don't. But at the end of the day, the one where you actually decide and become the winner, the one that's holding the trophy at the end of the day, that's the one that never quits. That's the one that never gives up. And faith is reassurance. Faith is comforting. Faith is encouraging. Faith faith is inspiring. Faith is also giving you permission to just take that first step and go after it. You know, like... You, you need to have faith. If you don't, you're never going to believe it's possible, right? It's always just going to be a wish at the end of the day. It's never going to be a goal that you can actually hold in your hands that's going to be a reality for you. And unfortunately, your life's always going to be this you know routine of Groundhog's Day, day in and day out, over and over again, and nothing actually solidifies. Nothing actually changes permanently because it's always just a wish. And remember, that faith, that's that foundation, that's that identity, that's that belief of not knowing, hey, is this you know going to eventually get me over here? Is it going to look this way? No, it might not. It's never going to be a straight line. For anybody that's on a you know health and fitness journey and you're trying to lose some body fat, you know fat loss isn't linear. 
you know for a fact that, hey, at the end of the day, some weeks you lose some weight, some weeks you don't. But does that mean like all of a sudden just throw in the towel and quit? Absolutely not. It's just an understanding that, hey, these are just expectations. This is just the reality, you know? So it's just like keep that in mind. But what helps you to keep that in mind is having faith, knowing for a fact, right, that if you don't give up, you will eventually be successful. You will eventually, you know, reach your goals. So just take a look at that right now and just ask yourself, hey, if I'm eating the right foods for my body type and I'm in a calorie deficit and I'm smashing my protein goal, if I'm working out right consistently, maybe that's a couple times a week, you're in the gym or you're working out right at home, are you getting plenty of steps in on a consistent basis? Are you drinking plenty of water? Are you sleeping a good amount? Are you keeping your stress nice and low? You know, if you're doing that, you should know without a doubt, 100%, hey, you're going to see better results. You know, don't give yourself these crazy expectations of like, oh, I want to see the number on skill be like this, or I want to have a chiseled chest and six pack abs, right? Like in the next two weeks. And right now I'm at 35% body fat, right? No, don't give yourself crazy expectations like that because that's going to derail you. But having faith and knowing that as long as I'm doing this, I like to say my non-negotiables, my daily habits, right? As long as I'm doing this, it's helping me with my bigger picture. It's helping me stay in alignment with my goals. It's helping me stay you know, consistent. That's it. Faith. So maybe the reason why you're struggling right now to go after your goals, maybe the reason why you're struggling right now to leave a legacy, maybe the reason why you're struggling right now to just make a change in your life. And it's constantly feeling like it's this groundhog's day, day in and day out. And you're almost like kind of stuck in a rut, almost like a leaf just floating along the wind. Maybe it's because you're lacking faith. Maybe it's because like you don't believe it's possible that you're going to be successful. Maybe that's the reality. And maybe if that is the case for you, you need to focus on, hey, how do you have more faith? How do you enhance that? Well, hey, it starts by taking action. It starts by actually saying and doing the things that you continue to say. You can't just talk the talk. No, you actually need to walk the walk. You're going to have more faith. You're going to have more trust knowing that, hey, I'm doing the right things. I'm confident in myself. I'm building right more discipline by staying consistent. Or it's like, hey, if you can't grow that faith anymore, like you're just like, hey, I'm doing the right things. I still doubt myself constantly. Then reevaluate the goals. Right? Maybe take them off the pedestal. Maybe lower them down a little bit. Right? Maybe just pivot and change up the goals to just make sure that, hey, those goals that you set off you that you want to achieve, you then know, you then have faith it's possible because you reevaluate it. You know? And this is where I feel like a lot of people struggle with, especially when it comes to reaching their health and fitness goals. Because either one, they don't know how to stay consistent. They, they don't have anybody in their corner holding them accountable. They're not following a plan that's personalized for them. And it's just like these New Year's, Eve's, you know, New Year's resolution goals where I'm going to go to the gym seven days a week, two hours every single day, right? Da, 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 da. Cut out all my carbohydrates, da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden, it's like two, three weeks in the new year, you fall flat on your face and you're back to eating, you know, Oreos, sitting on the couch, drinking a six pack. <laughs> It's like at the end of the day, let's make sure that we are following a plan that we know, right? We can have faith that we can actually stick with. Instead of working out two hours every single day, let's be a little bit more flexible, right? Let's actually make sure that this plan is probably developed around somebody's body type, but also their schedule and their lifestyle. Because I think that's what's going to really help them out, right? Stay more consistent in the long run. So once again, for you, hey, maybe it would help you to have more faith if you're following a plan, that you actually know for a fact that you can uh, consistently stick with. So you can also want sure that you're trusting and believing yourself and gaining that confidence, staying disciplined, going after your goals. Or once again, reevaluate the goals. It is something that you can have just a little bit more faith and belief into. So guys, I just want to leave you with this. You should be making it your mission to leave a legacy. There's so many reasons why. And you never know that you know, you can be inspiring somebody, whether that's your kids, spouse, coworkers, random person down the street, right? That maybe you see often they're a neighbor, right? And they just see that inspiration from you based on your own testimony for going after your goals. 
for not doubting, for not quitting yourself and, you know, constantly throwing the towel. No, you're actually staying consistent and you're focusing on leaving that legacy. You're focusing on faith, right? Believing that it's possible is the foundation and you're focusing on always trying to become the best version of yourself. So that way, once again, you can pour more out of others. And I highly recommend, highly, highly recommend you guys go check out uh, Mountain <clears throat> Chestnut Ranch um, over in West Virginia. Just go to their website and read the story behind, you know, Stephen and Dawn. It's so inspiring. Take a look at, you know, some of the images that they have. Take a look at the mission statement, the background in terms of what they do. If you feel the need to, you know, donate or, you know, help out in any way, awesome, you know, but, you know, just, I think it would just help you out tremendous by just going to their website and just reading the background story. And just seeing how starting from this can grow into this. And it's all about, once again, leaving a legacy, having faith, knowing that it's all going to work out. And their website, guys, is once again, is cmrwv.org. Lastly, this has been Coach Joe with Heartletics.com. If you guys got any value at all from today's podcast, all I ask in return is give this video a thumbs up and maybe share it with somebody that maybe they just need a sense of inspiration. They just need some encouragement for today um, to just, once again, put one foot in front of the other and go after the health and fitness goals. Guys, I will talk to you in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.